Hey guys, so I've got a really cool and a really quick problem here. So this is going to be, this is a really cool property of nested um, alternating radicals. There's a really nice closed form for this. So um, if we want to solve for this, we need to, the best strategy is to set this equal to a variable x, which we're trying to solve. And then usually the standard way to solve these nested radical problems is try to substitute x back into itself. And um, you guys can try that out, but that turns out to give you a quartic polynomial and that's very hard to solve. So a nice trick that we can do here is we can, um, we can define another variable very similarly as follows. So we can, it's, it's basically um, the same alternating ne nested radical, except instead of starting from a negative, we're starting from a positive. So then we can define this to be y. And then now what we can do is we can substitute y into here and we can substitute x into here. So we end up getting the square root of a minus y is equal to x and the square root of a um, a plus x is equal to y. And then now we can square both sides to get x squared is equal to a minus y and y squared is, um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to write that down here. And then we can get y squared is equal to a plus x. And then what we can do is we can subtract this equation from this equation, canceling out the a's to get a relationship between x and y. So we get y squared is equal to x plus y, y squared minus x squared is equal to x plus y. And then um, we can, uh, this thing is a difference of squares and we can factor it as y plus x times y minus x is equal to x plus y. And now uh, clearly both x and y are positive here. So um, we can divide both sides by x plus y and I am running out of room. So let's go up there. When we divide both sides, we get y minus x is equal to one. And then we can find that, um, we can find that y is equal to x plus one. All right, so um, I am going to erase my work down here because we need to free up some space. But now that we've got um, y is equal to x plus one, we can pl uh, substitute this back into this equation over here to solve for x, which was our desired goal. So then we get x squared is equal to a minus x minus one. And then um, rearranging, we can find, we can rearrange into this form. And then now we can apply the quadratic formula to finally find a nice closed form expression for this. Um, this would normally be a plus or minus, but note as x is clearly positive, we're gonna want the plus. And then just by quadratic formula, we have this. And then, oh, we're running out of space again. Um, I am going to delete this part. And then I, um, just sim we can simplify this and then we, it is not hard to see that this simplifies up to be this. So that is our closed form expression for this. So the nested um, alternating square root actually turns out to equal negative one plus the square root of four a minus three all over two.